Hi everybody, I want to make a quick video to thank Eddie uh, Elverich, or Elverich, I hope I'm saying that right. It's his uh, screen name on YouTube. And uh, I won his contest, one of his video contests, and uh, I understand why he had this contest. He didn't have very many comments on this particular video, and it's a very crucial subject. I know that's why he, he held this contest, and I'm fortunate to win it. Uh, though I, my odds were high since I was only like one of six people, possibly one of five people who commented. And uh, I was number four, and he went to randomnumber.org, and uh, it, I was chosen. So this is a great tool, and thank you, Eddie. I'm really, really going to use this because uh, your subject matter for uh, your video was load calculations, and it's something that I've always known ever since I went into business for myself and a little bit before that it was really, really critical thing to do, and like you said before, and others said that you know if you're not testing, you're guessing. Well, you know you walk into a house, and what well, you do, stand on the road and and uh, put it in a little picture frame like you're shooting a movie, and say, well, it's a three ten, it's a four ten. You don't know unless you're unless you're actually doing the calculation, and uh, once you start doing it, you realize you get a feel. For, and then at, at that point, you start to get a feel for what houses need and you can walk into a house and see well this house needs you know between 40 and 60,000 BTU and there's 120,000 BTU furnace in it and that happens all the time so that is the reason for his video and I think it is critical that you get that message out and uh, so you know if I can find a way maybe I can shoot a video about my I don't I don't get near the, the response but I don't put out quite the production quality that Fritz or or Eddie put out in their videos. They do the editing and they know all that stuff. Let's. I want to get to this thing. Let's uh, turn this on. And this is button right here. We'll turn this guy on. And I really like this. It's it's a lot better than the old one I had. I used to have one. And uh, let's see. What we'll do is we'll stick it against this door, and we're going to measure that wall over there. And I know this room is about 11 foot. And uh, so there's the read. I'm sorry, it's kind of dark in here. I've got, I know, my office isn't well lit right now. I've got some bulbs out, but see if you can see that. You can't really see what the word says on the button in this light, but that says read where my thumb is. So I'll press that once. And then I'll hold it here, and, I'll pr and then I've got a laser over there on the wall. I'll try to hold that steady while we press this again. Hopefully I can get in there and see it. Come in. I'll press again. And it is 11.024. So, I mean, it's just a smidge over 11 feet. 24 thousandths over. And then I can... There's another button here, if I can find it. Your your, your units, and uh, you press the unit button, and then I can get inches. And so it's 11 foot, 0 inches. And that really is. So, extremely cool. What I was saying about my old one... Is it didn't work this way. This one is actually a laser. It's got a lens. The old one, if I remember, it was had a, like a hollow cone inside of it. It was also made by Craftsman, but it would tick, and you'd have to hold the button in and tick, 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 and then it would give you a reading, and it kind of uh, was like sonar. Or, uh, where this is actually a laser, so I think this is going to be much more accurate, and it is a lot smaller than the old one. From what I remember from my old one, it was it would it was heavy and big. Uh, a little bit bigger than this, and this is going to fit in my pocket when I do load calculations. I've been dragging tape measures around for the last, oh, probably five years since that thing broke. I just, be honest, I, uh, <clears throat> I'd have lost faith in them. I didn't think they worked with a, a, a darn because that one I had didn't last much, didn't last any time at all. Uh, so I'm thinking this one's going to work a lot better for me. So thank you, Eddie. Uh, something else I want to mention. I had just bought a used Testo combustion analyzer a 327 and I paid $625 for it used and look Testo just came out with a new one a 310 at the same price I just paid for a used 327 so guys if you're gonna get you a new combustion analyzer that would be the one I would that would be my guess um, though you know haven't got to use it or anything just uh, looks really looks really good I read over it does all the seems to do everything the 327 does except that uh, you only have two lines displayed at once, and on the 327 you have four, and you scroll through, you can scroll, 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 and it'll go through like 12 
or more uh, lines. Whereas this one will hold this will hold one line all the time. So if you chose to show CO all the time, and then you could cycle the lower one, and it would go through all your different your oxygen, CO2, undiluted. Um, everything that there is efficiency, everything there is to see you would cycle through that way. But uh, And the, the cord is permanently connected where with the 327 is a bayonet connector. They also came out if you got the same money that a, 320, a new 327 would cost you. They've got the 320 that is color display and this is more like the uh, I forget which one Eddie has, the, the higher end one 335 or something. I'm probably wrong on the number, but the, the 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 color combustion analyzer. So this is the new one, and hey, the price is great. And I, look, they're on sale now, so you know you're saving you're saving over a hundred. You're saving a hundred and twenty dollars, uh, and getting the new design. So that's really cool. So I thought I'd put that up there for just to wish somebody would have gave me a heads up. But I tend to do that. I buy something and a week later it's. Uh, the new thing comes out at a lower price, <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna. This is. Uh, I'm shooting this on my iPhone. It won't be edited. Uh, I've still got to get into editing stuff and get a better camera. But uh, that's all. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate it. Appreciate it more than the. Uh, just as much as the the cool tool. I appreciate the content that you provide on YouTube. I think it is top notch, and uh, I think every everybody in this in the HVAC field should be watching your videos so I think you do a wonderful job alright over and out